So today's video is, at the end, is mostly just going to be kind of a nature walk, some really cool sites that we saw around the property when we walked around today. Uh, we met with the water, the city water guy today about the city water hookup and natural gas hookup. Uh, so we got that, everything started there. We got our first estimate for the septic system to go in, and we got our first estimate for the concrete pads today as well. Uh, I'm going to get multiple estimates for all that stuff just because it it's pretty expensive. I want to make sure that we're, that we're doing that right. Um... If you happen to know any of the species of the things that we identified today that we had no idea what they were, there's a snake in there, which I think... What kind did we figure out was, Kelly? What? What kind of snake did we say it was? Um, yeah, I forgot. Um, North American Racer. North American Racer, maybe, is what we think it was by what we looked up. But if you know what it is, it was all black. It looked like it was like a creamy color underneath its uh, head and it was more than three feet long. Uh, but some of those plants and weird things, I don't know if they were mushrooms or what they were. They were just really bizarre, uh, colorful things that we saw everywhere out there. Um, but yeah, so things are going well. We're hanging out on the property. Um, we'll hopefully get the septic and the water and all that stuff pretty soon though. Morel mushrooms, maybe? We don't know. There's a whole bunch of them around here. This is looking down in between the rocks here. So pretty everywhere. Cacti, which I was just shocked to find on the property. I didn't think that that was native to Tennessee or wouldn't be found in Tennessee. I'm guessing that's an armadillo shell and something has ate an armadillo up here. Of course, lots of cactus, Cac cacti, that's the plural. Yeah. Nature is beautiful. Oh, there's even more on the back side right there. To me, that tree looks like a hippopotamus. <laughs> He's drooling a little bit too. <laughs> Everything looks like prehistoric over here. So here I am at that little entrance and it has a very strong like urine smell in here and it's not because I peed myself. Comes back out the other side. I think I see daylight. This is just such a great place. It's not raining now. That's all rainwater from last night that keeps dripping off of everything. That outcropping there probably goes back in 10 feet, maybe more. I don't know if I'm right or not, but I'm going to say that that black is soot. 
maybe from campfires under here. There is a big broken open egg there. Um, twice the size of a chicken egg, would you say, Kelly? At least. <laughs> wonder what that would be. I think there's something living in that hole. Looks like a sea urchin. And the bark on this tree is really cool. Nice one with the cedar. This vine is growing here, but it only has leaves of two, not three, so whatever that vine is. It's not poison ivy. That doesn't mean it's not something else I shouldn't be playing with. Tons of these wild onions. Oh, didn't pull it out, but they're growing everywhere. You can definitely smell them. This is a big section of our property with these twisty trees everywhere. I guess that's from vines growing up the trees, but lots of these trees around here. I like that. Even this one is like that here, not quite as much as the others. But yeah, there are lots of twisty trees. It's a pretty big snake. Um, more than three feet long. He looks black, all black, no stripes. Maybe his underside of his head is a lighter color, like a cream. 